the last part of amine is called diazonium salts i don't i think this is not being included in this year syllabus hmm. but you please check even if it's not there but i have to teach you for your entrance exam diazonium salts but after finishing amine now you know what is diazonium Diazonium salts. All right. Now we know that primary amines react with nitrous acid <clears throat> at low temperature to form diazonium salts. And again, we know the alkyl diazonium salts are not stable even at low temperature, but aryl diazonium salts are stable at low temperature. Clear? So right now here, yeah. primary amine on Reaction wait, let me see where is that I means on reaction with nitrous acid generated in situ. In situ is a phrase, okay. Means that at that spot in city <clears throat> by the reaction of sodium nitrate and dilute mineral acids means you can take a cl sulfuric acid etc at low temperature means 0 to 5 degrees Celsius of 273 to 278 Kelvin. Form corresponding diazonium Sorts. Okay. So suppose I begin here R N H Q H N O two S L by generated by S L sodium nitrite plus S L. Two seventy eight to two seventy eight Kelvin. Then I'll get the air. Okay. Yes. Primary. The mean. And here I'll get. Diazonia okay so if you know this R then in that case 
the name see nitrogen is called azo two nitrogens are there so it is called diazo one of them is having positive charge so conventionally for positive charge we mention n i u m neum so because of that we call it diazo neum okay now if r is alkyl we call it alkyl diazo neum chloride and if r is aryl we will call it aryl diazonium chloride if i have used the sulfuric acid then i will get their corresponding hydrogen sulfate salt okay so please do not feel that to <coughs> get diazonium compound we always have to use hydrochloric acid no? you can use dilute sulfuric acid okay so what will be the name of this one you will get here alkyl or aryl diazonium chloride okay for the chloride we will get hmm and it is one way We'll write here now. Alkyl diazonium salts are not stable even at low. temperature and undergo hydrolysis and decomposition to form corresponding alcohols and alkenes. In your book, only this is given, this is not given, but this also forms in smaller book. Okay. <clears throat> Say here. I have taken ethylene. All this reaction I have done in the main chapter. And I have reacted it with nitrous acid generated from a mixture of sodium nitride dilute HCl at low temperature. So what I will get now? I will get here CH3 CH2 this and this. This is called ethyl 
Yeah, one word, gap, all right, okay, that this is not stable, so I'm putting it in square bracket. Now, see what happens. See, nitrogen is here is quaternary. So it wants to get back to its trivalent state. Hmm. And quaternary nitrogens are extremely strong lepton growing. What is going to happen in this case? All right. <clears throat> See, I'm not writing this one. So this will this carbon nitrogen bond will break. When it breaks. What do we have here? PH3, PH, H. And you have now nitrogen. This is being attacked by water. What right from water has come? Because I have taken dilute, you see. And I have taken sodium water solution, not solid. So plenty of water is there. So what do we get now here? You get here CH3, C, H, H, O, H. Okay, now do you know what will happen now? This will go out. H plus will combine with Cl minus. Hmm? Okay, okay, I'll write it. Yeah, Cl minus. So, if you combine, it will give you H3, H2, OH, N2, plus H. A major portion of it is going to form alcohol. But in this case, elimination reaction can also occur. Okay, see. This, 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 look. See, so elimination reaction has occurred. It has set to nitrogen gas, and H plus and Cl minus will combine. I don't know why in your textbook. This is lovely. Your textbook is very funny. They do not write any other product which is possible, and that leads to the problem in your entrance exam. And every student cannot afford to buy so many books. Okay? Every parents do not have plenty of money. And not that every parents are having only single child. Author should know. So I'll give you a small problem now. It's exactly like this problem that I have done now. How many products are possible when Propyl Propan one 
amine is treated with nitrous hello right let's treated with sodium nitrite in dilute hcl at low temperature okay so writing so many words i can write in one line function so sodium nitrite hcl 273 to 278 kelvin ah do exactly the way i have done try to find out how many products are there i give you two three minutes don't waste time no reply now uh, keep quiet like that see what you are going to get ph3 you'll get this okay so after that what is going to happen you'll get this from here all day Okay, so if it reacts with water, what will get here? PH3, PH, 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 OH. This first product. See. We know this is a primary carbocation. Primary carbocations are less stable than secondary. Okay, what will happen now? It will undergo rearrangement. This H with the bond will migrate here. Okay, we call it a one to shift. So, what it will give? It will give me. PH3, see, this H will go there. What will have? H2 plus 1 H, this. This hydrogen is there. This. See, this is secondary carbocation. So, this secondary carbocation will undergo substitution. So, what we are going to get here? you'll get another one. Hard. If you understand all this thing, eh? don't fall from the sky. So what will get down there? We'll get here. We we'll get this plus N2 HCl.
फटाफट प्लेस टू पुल and i'll do the new client so this is the way in entrance this question may come so use your brain right aromatic primary amines react with nitrous acid at low temperature to form stable digonium salts This is called diazonium of what benzene? What is called benzene? Diazonium. It is a salt, so it is benzene diazonium, and this is chloride. aromatic diazonium ions are stable due to Hindi, other hand, alkyl, diazonium, 
solves. Do not undergo resonance and so they are not So done. Okay. So now we'll draw the resonance structure. See, actual structure of engine dynamic chloride is like this. Why? Because both the nitrogens are sp. All right, because of that, it is linear. Though I have written like this, just to save space. So when we draw the resonance, we are supposed to write this correct stuff. We'll see what happens. This pair of electron goes here. So I'll write it like this. Okay. And one extra electron has gone now. So I have to put it on negative side. This electron has gone here. So I have to put a positive sign. This. Then it will go here. And then it will go here. Then it will come like this. See, this is a structure, make it stable.
Now you will go for its chemical reactivity. See, actually, it is a if you have taken uh, pure aromatic amines. Why I'm saying pure? Because aromatic amines, if you expose it to sunlight, it gradually turns dark. So, if you want to make pure um, aromatic amines, you have to distill the amine before the reaction. All right. <clears throat> so, diazonium salts are generally colorless compounds. Now we'll go for chemical properties. So before doing chemical properties, I always told you don't read blindly. Try to understand the molecule. If you understand the molecule, automatically you can do the reactions. See here. I'm doing like this now. Look. I'm not writing the other part. Reaction is done by this, not by the anion. See, in this case, this nitrogen is tetravalent. I told you tetravalent nitrogen, trivalent oxygen, yeah, they are one more than the normal valency. See, this nitrogen now wants to get back his electron. So, nitrogen has two options either to get the pair of electron from this bond or from this one. So which way it will happen? Okay. So now if it takes the electron from here, then what you are going to get? You will get this plus nitrogen gas. So now you have generated a electron deficiency in the carbocation. And we know aromatic carbocations are highly unstable. So immediately you have to supply an electron rich species to satisfy this charge. So in that case, what type of reaction is going to show? It is possible only when this bond, this benzene is going to break this bond with nitrogen only when he finds there is someone else is there to supply electron. And we know the species which supply the electron are nothing but nucleophiles. So we'll go by nucleophilic. Substitution or replacement. This is one. Okay, I'll write here capital. Then capital B. <laughs> now, what is second option? I already told you. Second option is that the sigma bond may not break. Okay. In this case, nitrogen may withdraw this electron from the pi bond. When you have withdrawn the right electron from the pi bond, this nitrogen becomes divalent. Now it wants electron. So in this case, you have to su supply electron, a species which can give you electron, but mind it. In this case, nothing is going out of the molecule. And it is not going undergoing any addition reaction. If you carry out addition reaction, it should come in both the nitrogen. Okay. So in this case, something has to be supplied electron this species is going to supply electron here okay so in that case what is going to happen you will find here now it will undergo coupling reaction coupling reaction so who is going to supply 
electron electron rich molecules like phenol and Third. any compound which is having multiple bonds or oh, there is a carbon carbon bond carbon oxygen bond carbon nitrogen bond nitrogen nitrogen bond they will they will always undergo addition reactions okay so <coughs> it will undergo addition reaction because it is a unsaturated molecule so these are the three types of reactions are there in your book this is not being given these two are given okay but uh, this time i think in syllabus i found that this is not there you can also check i mean i may be wrong but we'll do because these reactions are important for your entrance exam so these are our different scheme if you understand this all reactions you can carry out okay Excuse me, sir. Yes. So, what reaction is the second one? Yes. Hmm? So, what reaction is the second one? It's C O. I can't see what. C O U P L I N G. It's called coupling. C O U P L I N G. Coupling reaction. Well done. Okay, now we'll go for substitution or replacement reactions. Okay, so we'll write here now. Replacement Y halogen. Okay, so I'll write now here. Yeah. Uh, wait. Replacement by halogen. Okay. 
to right now here replacement by glory so we'll take this chloride and treat it with cuprous chloride see valency of copper there are two valencies of copper one and two one is called cuprous and two is called cupric so the formula of cuprous chloride chloride should be cucl because valence of chlorine is one copper is one in case of cuprous so it should be cucl but actually cucl alone is not stable okay so two of them they stay together we will write now here cucl all right so what it will happen it will give you oh i put here how many more that will get at this and n2 will go out okay so you get here now chloro benzene dear yeah, this reaction if you would have been included in your syllabus is very important reaction for it san mayer reaction <sighs> Okay, you can do it by another method. In that case, we are going to take <coughs> copper metal and ACL. In that case, we we'll get here. Okay. This reaction is not sent by us. We call it get a man reaction. Done, sir. Oh. B. Replacement by Bromine. Here I'm going to take cube plus bromide and HBr. So you will get here now bromobenzene plus HCl. If you have prepared benzene diazonium bromide, then HCl HBr is not required. But HBr is not that much found in the laboratory. You get here now. It is costly bromobenzene. Same reaction is called. This reaction is also known as cuprous. Oh, sorry, Chen Mayer reaction. So here, 
this. Let's see it. Sadan. <laughs> Now, replacement by IOD. Okay, so this is being treated with potassium iodide aqueous solution. Potassium iodide is a very strong nucleophile. So, in that case, we will get here iodobungy and potassium chloride. Okay, this reaction does not have any name. So you get here iodo. It will be C. Then D. Okay, you finish, then I'll explain and replacement by See, in this case, we cannot prepare directly because fluorine is a very, very weak nucleo because of very high electronegativity doesn't want to give electron to others. So we have to prepare indirectly. So 
we replace this chloride by this. So the, the name of this one is benzene diazonia chloride. Here the name is different. Huh? So this is called benzene diazonium. This is common. Okay. Then name of this anion is chloroborate. After the formation of this one, we heat it. We separate it. Okay, we take out the salt and we heat it. So it's in separating. What we do? We heat it. Then this compound undergoes decomposition. Then by this decomposition, we have here fluorobenzene. See, four chlorines are there, one goes here, three remains with boron. You know, it's called boron trifluoride. Okay. Nitrogen comes out. So you get here now. Loro. This is important for entrance exam. Okay. This reaction has a name. It's called bulge. Shiman reaction. Bulchman reaction. See, you heard about Hemen, na? The Hemen is also there. This is called benzonite tribe, or IPC name is benzene carbo nitrous. One word, huh? so I have not broken it. Can I wrap the bottom portion? Yes, Hello. sir. This reaction is also known as Sandmeyer reaction. Okay, now see, here I'm going to give you one thing. 
conversion. If it is written, they are convert. Aniline to benzoic acid. Okay. So moment the conversion comes immediately, you will find you develop greediness. It's everything because you don't practice chemistry uh, these equations now. So in sodium nitride. HCl 273 to 278 Kelvin. So what you are going to write now? In conversion, you are not supposed to balance. You write there directly this engine does any operate. This is one. Then here we write Q plus cyanide, potassium cyanide. So what you get now? You get, you know, as, see, you get this. And now you know that if you do hydrolysis of cyanide by boiling acid, what do you get? Cyanide always gives us. Abulo, what doctor say? Bodhi doctor say. Tasty. Get here. Benjoy gets it. Finished. Uh, yes, if sir. you write like this, now nah, I'll take two three years to finish your class twelve. Huh? So okay. Done. Now done. Nah? Okay, now you have another method to do. Suppose you forget this one. What to do? Huh? So we'll do up to this. Okay. Then we'll add here CU. Two Cl two. So, what will happen? And my reaction. We we'll get chlorobenzene. Don't worry. Treat with magnesium. Hmm. So, once you treat with magnesium, so what will happen? Hmm. Hey, you'll get green reagent. Useless people. You get here. Mg. See then treat it with carbon dioxide followed by dilute acid. You get that? Ah. Organic chemistry is so nice, huh? you people could not appreciate it. You think that it is a problem.
are done. Okay. So, You please run by. I tried. I know to see here. Here we'll do same that ball shimon grid. We'll do this. Then what I'll get here? I get this. I'm not writing the name because you know. This is called benzene diazine of Christ. This is called benzene diazine of body. Then this one, I can treat it with potassium nitrite or sodium nitrite. And with this will undergo the composition. With this potassium chloride and we have three. So you get now here nitro benzene. Okay. So what is the number four? I think na? replacement by. Hydroxide. Okay. This one you don't have to do anything because we have already prepared in water. Plenty of water is there and will warm you because we always prepare at low temperature. Once you warm this one, water is going to replace this one and you will get here. So, what you are going to get? No.
That is all. Okay. Now I'm going to do a reaction which is not in your book. Okay. Replacement by methanol, but an important for entrance exam because this is an unusual property. So if I have taken here CH2OH, you get methyl phenyl ether. You get here methyl phenyl ether is a common name it is also a very popular name we call it in so and its IUPAC name is methoxy benzene this but it does not happen same reaction does not happen with ethanol Okay. Replacement by hydrogen means what? Or reduction or reaction okay so now this can be done by two methods one with ethanol see very strange you have not seen until now ethanol is being used for reduction ethanol we use reaction along with sodium Okay, which is called bubble and blank reduction. But in this case, it's very interesting. See, ethanol can also reduce hydrogen. See, if ethanol is if ethanol is a reducing agent, it will get oxidized. All right, because oxidation reduction is simultaneous. The reducing agent get oxidized, and oxidizing agent get reduced. So. In this case, what is going to happen is going to form benzene. This nitrogen is being replaced with hydrogen, so you'll get benzene. And what will happen to this? For examination point of view, this reaction is very important because ethanol is, take, is acting as a reducing agent, it's an unusual property. They, see, methanol has not reduced. Methanol has gone for substitution. Ethanol undergone reduction. Second method is we do reduction with a strong reducing agent called Hypophosphorus. Hypo. When we'll go to P block, then I'll explain to you. Hypophosphorus. Okay. 
in that case you'll find the new resistive engine hypo phosphor plus acid it will give you benzene and it will give you ht Okay, plus N2 and AC. In the exam, you don't have to write all these side products. So, this is C, hypophosphorus, and this is called phosphorus. Acid. In some books, they have given you H3PO4 also. Huh? Because H3PO, H3PO3 is not a stable acid. So they give you H3PO4 also. I don't know in your book what they have mentioned. I think in your book they have given H3PO4. So <laughs> in that case, no problem. You can write down here 2H2. This will be this. So you will get here phosphore. <coughs> So if I if it was phosphoric acid, then I have to write here two. This will be two. This will be two. And it is balanced. Okay, I'll do another reaction which is not in your syllabus. Did you say so? We have classes. Oh, wait, one, two minutes. Don't create halagula. Huh? Right? Yes, law is possible. Possible, huh? As like nursery students. Ah. So it is replacement by benzene. This is also not being given in your hopeless book. Okay. So what it is being done is being reacted with benzene and in presence of sodium hydroxide. This replaces this. Then what you will get? You get this. Plus and two HCl react with sodium hydroxide to give you sodium chloride. And water. This one we have already seen hello engine in in hello alkane chapter. This is called by blood depth. Mm, other reactions I'll do on Thursday. Done. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Then bye. Good day. Yes,